Hi, this is your host Apni Bharatiya and welcome to our 2023 prediction series and today we have with us once again Julian Fisher, CEO and founder of any nice Julian, it's great to have you on the show. Oh, it's great to be back. Thank you for having me. Yeah, before I ask you to grab your crystal ball and share your predictions with us, tell us quickly about any nice uh, what is the company all about in today's world well any nice is focused on the construction and operation of application developer platforms we are helping companies in the journey of uh, uh, you know cloud transformation uh, and we have a strong a strong stance in the area of data service automation excellent now it's time for you to grab your crystal ball and share with us what predictions you have for our viewers i believe that in 2023 the questions evolving around how to run and how to manage data in Kubernetes, uh, maintaining a healthy dependence or independence from infrastructure providers will uh, be uh, one of the focus topics. I also think that the question of operational efficiencies in the Kubernetes uh, when running a lot of Kubernetes clusters will remain a major challenge and will also be one of the uh, major topics in the Kubernetes ecosystem. I also believe that, uh, furthermore, I believe that um, application security will be a major topic in 2023. A question on how um, uh, application and any code that's deployed in, uh, in Kubernetes can be scanned and uh, for security vulnerabilities automatically as part of the CI CD pipeline will be in the focus as well. One thing I can imagine people will think about in 2023 is also how do you declare, um, you know, an entire application development system, including um, Kubernetes cluster, the Kubernetes cluster, including the data layer, as well as the application layer. Because that requires orchestration in a declarative way that goes beyond a Kubernetes cluster, but includes infrastructure or uh, or platform resources. We've seen with cross-plane technologies who use the Kubernetes paradigm to do that. So I'd, I'd be curious to see that more people use that to uh, um, make those more comprehensive declarative uh, systems, application management systems possible. Thanks for sharing these uh, predictions. If I ask you, what is going to be the focus of any nines in 2023? We've been doing the same things for decades now, but it's the it's the exact the exact prioritization that's always interesting to see. So we've been working on uh, several uh, topics last year, and there will be a shift of focus uh, in the upcoming year. So we have learned that, for example, managing data. Uh, in Kubernetes environments where there are a lot of Kubernetes clusters is much more uh, demanded um, than, for example, running data within Kubernetes. So both are hot topics, but we've seen a spike in demand asking our existing data service automation to be integrated within Kubernetes rather than uh, running data services on Kubernetes. It's not a... Um, uh, not say anything bad about running data in Kubernetes, but it's just within the customer base. That's one of the shifts we are going to make in response to the demand. What are the some of the biggest challenges that you will see will be there in 2023 and some of those challenges that any nines would like to help customers navigate through? I still believe that building application development platforms is incredibly hard. So we've where you think about the marketplace problem, browsing products that are available to the application developers, um, creating um, uh, graphical user interfaces for them, um, making declarative uh, management of resources um, around Kubernetes clusters uh, available, including you know application workloads, extensions, and data. That's something that still need to be addressed, and that's where our focus will be. It will be less focused on uh, providing Kubernetes as a service, which is something we have uh, made many experiments with in the, in the last one or two years. So we are moving uh, up the layer. That's um, a shift in focus at any nines. 
Julian, thank you so much for taking time out today and once again uh, share these predictions with us, uh, focus on the company and the challenges that are ahead of us in 2023 and which you will also help uh, solve. So thanks for all these insights and as usual, I would love to sit down and chat with you again, hopefully next year, if not next year. Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully there's, a, there's going to be a conference in Europe where we'll be able to meet. Otherwise, uh, see you at the next conference in the US or in the next uh, Zoom call. And I enjoy talking to you so much. So hopefully see you soon.